All right, the Devil May Cry reboot. Just to tell you now, no, I did not buy the game, so I don't know every detail. All I know is the important stuff. I went over to a friend's house and played his copy, and right around mission four, I kind of sadly got annoyed at the game because I don't know. It's, it's just that the it seemed like the game was trying to make me get into the storyline, which kind of didn't work on my part because when I play a Devil May Cry game, I'm not really worried about the storyline. Storyline does, in my opinion, storyline in a Devil May Cry game does not really matter to me. As long as my gameplay is great. If the gameplay is great, I'll pay attention to the storyline. But that was one of the problems. It, it seems like the game was... They put a lot more into the storyline as well, and I was kind of annoyed at that. Plus, I was kind of annoyed at the look of Dante and Virgil. Yeah, to be honest, I kind of like the old ones a lot better. I mean, not saying that the old ones should come back. I mean, if Calcom wants to make a... Calcom wanted to make a fresh new Devil May Cry, and that's what they did. And as I said before, I didn't say I want the old Dante back. All I said was they could make a better Dante. I mean, sure, they kind of improved his look since the trailer, which was... Well, the very first trailer they came out with, with which was atrocious in my opinion. But the designs of Dante and Virgil didn't really... Didn't really, you know, had a huge impact on me, so... I think around stage 4 I was kind of annoyed of the game. Don't get me wrong, the gameplay was actually decent. The gameplay was decent, but why do I feel like, you know, they're letting me go? Like, they're giving me, like, so much easiness in this game. Why does the game seem so easy? But then that's when I realized, I think at the end of... Like, Mission 4, that's when I realized, wait a minute, is this game aimed at casual players? And it turned out, after reading a whole bunch of comments on YouTube, yes, the game was pointed at casual players so that people could easily get into the game. <sighs> that kind of annoyed me, because I... I might I might be weird for saying this, but yes, when I play a video game, I, will, I mean, I understand, I would like it to be easy enough for me to get into, but... Maybe, since I've played a, a lot of bullet hell games and fighting games and whatnot, I would like my difficulty spike to go up a little bit more as I go through each mission. And DMC did not feel like it was giving me that, so I was kind of annoyed. Like I said, the gameplay is decent, and they did a pretty good job on the weapons. Did a pretty good job on the weapons, but I kind of got annoyed at the game at Mission 4, and... Kind of stopped playing it for a while, and then all of a sudden, my friend calls me on the phone saying, Hey man, they came out with the downloadable costumes and stuff, so you can buy Dante's original look and stuff. And I was like, hey, okay, if you buy it, I'll try to finish the game for you. And he did. And for some reason, the game felt a little bit more playable. And I know some DMC fans are going to be butthurt about it, but I don't care. It's my opinion. Not that I don't care about your opinion, it's just, you know, tell me your opinion, don't be a douchebag with it. So yes, with the downloadable costumes, I am saying this to the old DMC heads out there, the downloadable costumes does make the game a little bit more playable. Actually, it made me watch the cutscenes a little bit more, because before the costumes came out, I didn't really pay attention to the cutscene, and I wanted to skip them. But, in order for me to understand the game, I had to watch them, and they were kind of annoying. Actually, the most annoying cutscenes i seen was the introduction. Yeah. There was no need for me to see all that bullcrap. And I know I had an option to k skip it, but, uh, you know what, I wanted to give Ninja Theory a chance. I mean, the two games they came out with kind of sucked, but, you know... And I know a lot of people are saying Enslaved was a great game, but come on, that com that battle system was retarded, in my opinion. But, 
you know, we got the costumes. I started playing it. I played it all the way to the end. I even locked... I unlocked all the difficulties up to hell or hell mode. Now, hell or hell mode is where the difficulty spike comes in, in my opinion. Because I made it to Son of Sparta, and all they did was, like, what? Oh, a specific bad guy could be killed with a specific weapon. No. That's stupid. How about make the bad guys more aggressive and I felt like they weren't doing that because well I was easily dodging them like it was nothing the boss fights are great however and that's I'll say that's where in the little when on Son of Sparta mode that's where the difficulty spike came in a little bit for me was when I was fighting the bosses because they started doing more stuff and I was like okay if you can do that with the bosses why not make the rest of the game a bit harder I'm sorry, I played too much of Devil May Cry 3. That was freaking hard, by the way. Then I got the special edition. Still kind of hard, especially the Jester fight. When I was playing Dante Must Die mode. And then I played 4. That was kind of hard. I mean, Nero's part was a lot easier than Dante's. Because Dante is a combo whore. And freaking Nero is... You know, with the giant demon arm going, come here, come here. I was making scorpion noises every time I did that. It's actually, I don't know why people saying four sucked. Four was great. Three was awesome. One is a classic. Two sucked. Now, what do you think I'm going to put freaking DMC as you're as asking me? Like, where would I put it? Actually. In my opinion, I would put it right before 2. DMC is a decent game. And yes, guys, go try it out. I'm pretty sure some people like it. Me, I find like 3 or 4 things annoying with it. Oh, not to mention that there was no lock-on, so I felt like my combos were a little bit too loose. I mean, if they would have at least put lock-on in there, I would... Uh, if, I mean... If they did put it in there, I probably got the triple S rank more easier, easily. But, eh, I guess that's why they took it out because making putting lock on on there is too flippin' easy. Uh, yeah, didn't the lock on thing did not make it any easier in three, nor in four. So I don't know what they're talking about. So yeah, I kind of rate this higher than two. I rate this more. Th higher than Devil May Cry 2. Because 2, yes, Devil May Cry 2 did suck. But, yeah, DMC is a decent game. But if you ask me, in my opinion, if it wasn't a Devil May Cry game, it was just a fresh new game, I'd probably play the crap out of it more than... It's a good example. Actually, no, I can't think of any good examples. But yeah, I would play the crap out of the game a lot more than... If then the game being called DMC right now, if it was just a fresh new game, I could accept it a lot more than just slapping Devil May Cry on it. Because that's why I felt like they did. They just took Devil May Cry, slapped it on the game. It could be just a fresh new Ninja Theory game, but uh, I don't know. Any, anyways, anyways, um, yeah. That's my thoughts on it, I guess. And yeah, that's basically it. Um, Stay tuned. I will be doing a video on my impressions on the uh, Crisis 3 beta because I am playing the crap out of that game. That demo is awesome. I can't believe I didn't play the other two Crisis games. I feel retarded. I could have been playing that more than Call of Duty right now, but I didn't. I'm stupid. Anyways, um, sorry for wasting your guys' time, and uh, that's my thoughts on DMC Reboot. Um, see, it wasn't that hateful. It's just that I don't like some things about it. See, I explained myself, so y'all can't get mad at me for having my own opinion, okay? I was nicer this time. I apologize for hurting anyone's feelings in the other Devil May Cry Reboot thing. Everything's cleared up now. You hurt why I don't like it. And that's about it. So this is Rage Leo, and I will see you guys later. Peace.